So you've experienced a huge drop in your reach over on your content on Instagram and you think you're shadow banned. In this video, we're gonna help you determine if you are shadow banned and also try to give you a better idea as to how or why Instagram hit you with the dreaded shadow ban. So let's get right into it. What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick and today we're talking all about shadow bans. This is a word or a phrase that is used so often within the Instagram community and it's often used incorrectly. So let's start off with describing exactly what the shadow ban is. A shadow ban is when Instagram is purposely limiting the reach of your content, meaning it won't be shown to new users. It won't be ranking on hashtags and it won't be shown on the explore page. With hashtags in the explore page being the best ways to grow on Instagram, if new people aren't finding your content via these methods, it becomes incredibly difficult and near impossible to grow, which is obviously our primary goal for using the platform. So obviously as an Instagram user or an Instagram marketer, this is a huge issue. If new people can't find our content, it makes our job incredibly more difficult. And for some time there was a lot of debate within the Instagram community as to if the shadow ban was even a real thing or not because Instagram never actually came out directly and said the word shadow ban or anything directly speaking to it but they have since come out and said some quotes that all but affirm the shadow ban is a real thing for example Instagram says while some posts on Instagram may not go against our community guidelines they might not be appropriate for our global community and we'll limit these types of posts from being recommended on explore and hashtag pages so this is Instagram being cryptic and basically saying not only do they have the ability to limit people's reach, they will do it purposely for specific reasons. So basically they're saying the shadow ban, it's a thing. So now that we fully understand what the shadow ban is, how do we check if we are shadow banned? If you have an Instagram business account, the insights that Instagram gives you is a great place to start to see if your content is being shown to people beyond just the people who are currently following you. While this is a great place to start, it is not foolproof and it also won't work if you have a personal account. So beyond checking your insights, a great place to see if you actually are shadow banned is to see if you're appearing on hashtags. So the best way to do this is to use hashtags on a post and use accounts that aren't currently following you to see if your content shows up on that hashtag. And again, because shadow banning is limiting your reach beyond your existing followers, it's important that the accounts that you're checking these tags on aren't following you. Otherwise, it kind of defeats the purpose. So post something out using the tags that you want to track to see if you're showing up on and then get these accounts that aren't following you to go see if you show up in recent. Make sure you're checking this very quickly because especially with popular hashtags, it's possible that your content did show up at one point, but it has since been buried by all the other people using these tags. So make sure to do it quickly. And ideally you would be checking this across a few different accounts that don't follow your account. So start this process here by using this method, but it's also possible that using banned hashtags can lead to you becoming shadow banned on Instagram. So when you're putting your groups of tags together, you really wanna make sure that you're not using any banned tags that could then result in you getting hit with one of those shadow bans. So to avoid using banned hashtags, there's a few different methods that you can use to do your research and make sure you're avoiding the use of them completely. And the first method you can take is by checking tags manually. So if you type it into the search bar on Instagram and it comes up as no results, chances are that specific hashtag is banned from Instagram. But there are also tags that are deemed as restricted or flagged and these tags will still show up when you search for them. But when you click through, there will only be a few posts attached to them and not a long list of content that you can scroll through like on most other tags. So if you come across this and there's only a few pieces of content on this tag, chances are it's under review from Instagram and you probably want to avoid it. The next way that you can do some research and make sure that you're not using a banned hashtag that could result in your account getting hit with a shadow ban is to use Flick's banned and restricted hashtag checker. So Flick actually has a tool built into our software that allows you to check for banned or restricted hashtags. And this will actually flag the hashtag to let you know that it is banned or restricted so that you make sure that you're never using a tag that could compromise your account and the reach that you get. So after you've done your research to make sure you're avoiding banned hashtags, either by doing this manually or by using Flick to save yourself some time, you can now move on to the next step in this process because you know that hashtags aren't your problem. The next method you can use to try to figure out if you are shadow banned is to look at the reach and impression numbers on your content. If you've noticed a huge drop, there could be a chance that you're shadow banned. A few metrics that you wanna make sure to look at are discovery percentage of new users, impressions from hashtags, impressions from profile, and impressions from others. And then you should compare these numbers to a time when you were certain you weren't shadow banned and look for a huge drop off. And that will typically be a tell that you might be shadow banned. So if you've used these previous methods of testing and you've seen that your content isn't showing up on tags and it's not being shown to new people on tags or the explore page, chances are you're shadow banned. And first of all, you wanna be the first ones to say, 
Sorry, we know that it sucks, but you're not alone and there are a ton of other people that do deal with shadow bans. Plus there are things that we can do to get back in the good books with Instagram and get unshadow banned. And we're gonna give you tips to help you get yourself out of Instagram jail. But first, let's outline the main reasons why accounts do get hit with shadow bans in the first place. The first reason is that you're not complying with Instagram's community guidelines. As an Instagram user, by using the platform, you have agreed to follow the community guidelines provided by Instagram. It is that huge block of text that not many people read, but if you do violate their rules, you can get hit with a penalty like an action block. So we highly recommend giving those a read to see if you've done anything to violate them. The second potential reason is because you're buying fake followers or fake engagement. And I hate that I still have to say this, but listen closely. Fake followers and fake engagement are never worth it. They are a major, major no-no. And Instagram has evolved to the point where they will almost always catch you. Chances are, eventually, they absolutely will catch you and they will penalize you accordingly for having fake followers or fake engagement. So if you've done either of those things, that is a huge potential reason for you getting hit with a shadow ban. And if you haven't bought fake followers or fake engagement, don't ever do it. Focus Focus on real and organic growth and followers. That's what you want and that's what Instagram still can provide you if you have a great content and hashtag strategy. The third potential reason is because you're using banned or flag hashtags. By simply using a banned hashtag, you are putting your account at danger through association with a tag that Instagram has deemed worthy of banning. So you wanna make sure that you are never using these tags and a few methods that we mentioned that you can do to make sure you're avoiding them is by either looking them all up individually yourself or to save yourself some time, use Flix tool that is built into Flick that allows you to spot any banned hashtags and avoid using them. The fourth potential reason is because you're using the same tags over and over again. And doing this could make Instagram view you as spammy and increase the likelihood of them hitting you with a shadow ban. Your hashtag strategy should always focus on using relevant hashtags every single time for each piece of content. And naturally, even if you do have a specific niche or a pretty consistent style of content, there is a little bit of change through every piece of content and your hashtag strategy should also change to fit that content and make sure that it is always relevant. The fifth potential reason is that you're over engaging. Every bit of engagement on Instagram can be tracked by Instagram. So they know how much you're interacting with other users and different kinds of content. And if you do this too much, this is another thing that Instagram could view you as being spammy and in turn hit you with a shadow ban. So just avoid using Instagram like a bot would and throwing out engagement everywhere. Use it more like a human being actually would when they're genuinely using the platform to engage and interact. So at this point, you know what a shadow ban is and you know the likely reason as to why you got hit with one. Now we got to the million dollar question. How do we get rid of a shadow ban once we've been given one? And here are five strategies that you can use to help remove your shadow ban. Tip number one is to remove any broken, banned, or restricted hashtags. Doing this can help you get back in the good books of Instagram and showing them that you're not violating any of their community guidelines. So go through the tags that you're using and make sure that you're not using any banned, restricted, or flagged tags. And if you have done so in the past, make sure to get them off your content. The second strategy is to slow down your actions on Instagram and limit the total number of actions that you're even performing. Instagram's able to track everything that you do from likes, comments, shares, all of it. And typically Instagram allows for around 500 actions per day. So if you're going far beyond this, the chances of you getting hit with a shadow ban goes up dramatically. And you can really help yourself out by staying way below this number to avoid Instagram seeing you as spammy. The third tip is to avoid any sort of inauthentic growth tactics and really focus on growing organically through engaging content. I'm sure you've heard of a ton of spammy growth tactics. And while they may have worked in the past, they certainly don't today. And they're going to do more harm than good for your account. So although it may be very enticing to buy a quick 500 or 1000 followers, do not do it. Avoid it at all costs. Use Instagram like a true Instagrammer would. Post quality, engaging content that leads to quality and engaging followers and connections. The fourth strategy is to go through and read the community guidelines and make sure that you're complying with all of them. This is going to give you the best chance to avoid doing anything wrong, even accidentally, that may get you hit with a shadow ban. The fifth tip is to make sure that you have a solid hashtag strategy in place that's taking into account the reality of banned and restricted and flagged hashtags. So make sure when you're putting your groups together that you're avoiding these at all costs. And again, you can either do this manually or save yourself some time by using Flix tool to avoid them altogether. And finally, if you've done all of these things and you're certain that you haven't violated any of Instagram's community guidelines and you still think you're shadow banned, you can report a problem directly to Instagram. To do this, go to settings and then report a problem and that will allow you to reach out directly to an Instagram representative. So be honest with yourself and if you're certain that you haven't done anything wrong, this is a great last resort. If you've learned anything new about shadow bans or you're enjoying today's video, 
don't forget to tap that like button down below. And if you're looking to grow on Instagram, don't forget to subscribe to Flick's YouTube channel. We post weekly videos here helping you do just that. So that's shadow bans. We explained what a shadow ban is, the reasons for why it happens, how you can avoid them, and if you've been hit with one, the things that you can do to get back into Instagram's good books. So after watching this whole thing, I would love to hear from you. Have you been hit with an Instagram shadow ban before? How long did it last? And what did you do to get out of it? Let us know in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe because I will be here at the same time next week with another video to help you grow on Instagram. Have yourself a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.